Hi friends, welcome back to CADABLE. This is Engineer Brian Omar and today we'll model this block in Solid Edge and this will be practice exercise 3 in Solid Edge and uh, here uh, we'll use commands like uh, protrusion, cutout, rib, uh, pattern, hole, chamfer and fillet which is called round in Solid Edge and uh, after modeling this part we'll apply uh, appearance to this part so let's go to here file select new and I'll select this one normal part and select OK. And now we are in solid edge interface. So first uh, we will make the three circles in the top plane. So let's go to here sketch and I will select this plane top plane. And uh, now I will make three circles. So let's go to here circle command circle by center and I'll make one bigger circle and two smaller circles. Uh, let's select this circle and I'll change its diameter to 80 and let's change this diameter to let's say 30 this will be the smallest circle and this circle diameter would be 40 and uh, i'll click here return to exit this sketch and select here finish now it will again ask you whether you are uh, sketching uh, or not so i'll select cancel uh, so after completing the sketch now i'll go to your protrusion command and in solid edge it is called protrusion and in solid works it is called extrude uh, also in autocad it is called extrude so i'll select this command uh, basically uh, name is different function is same so select this one and uh, now it will ask you uh, uh, select from a sketch or you are making a, a new sketch and so i'll select this one select from a sketch and uh, i'll select this circle this outer circle and uh, click here and now we'll extrude this uh, circle in the downward direction and the distance would be 15 and select finish uh, it will again ask you uh, whether you are sketching uh, or not so i'll select cancel next is uh, i will use uh, another uh, feature that is called uh, uh, cutout in solid edge uh, i will cut through this smaller circle so let's go to here cutout and uh, Let's select this smaller circle, select uh, OK and uh, I can drag this circle in the downward direction. Uh, it is better to use this option here through all in the downward direction and select finish. We will again ask you so cancel. Uh, now uh, I will extrude this portion, this, uh, uh, this contour with the uh, diameter of 30 and diameter of 40. So let's go to here protrusion again and this time I will select this one and this one. And select OK, and I will extrude it uh, 15 mm in the upward direction, and select Finish, and cancel. Okay. Uh, next is I will create rip command. So for the rip command, here you cannot see rip command. So let's drag this feature tree to here, And now we can see the rip command. Let's drag this to somewhere here. Now we can uh, see all the commands. And uh, let's go to here rip command. And uh, for the plane, I will select this one. It is automatically taking a parallel plane. So I'll change this parallel plane to coincident plane. And, and I'll select this front plane. Okay. So I'll draw a simple line here. And I'll make one line here. Now I'll go to the smart dimension. And I'll select this line and this edge and i'll change it to 7 mm uh, similarly i will make another dimension and that is 45 degree uh, this line with this edge so let's go to your dimension and i'll select this one angle between i'll select this one and this one and now you can see that it is 42.09 degree so i'll change it to 45 degree uh, i click return and uh, here you can see that I cannot create rib in this direction and in this direction, but I can create rib in this direction, okay, because there is material. So I click here, and uh, here you can see that the thickness of the rib is only 0.25. So I'll change this thickness to 5 mm both sides, sorry, 5 mm, not 6 mm, and I select this option finish and cancel. So, uh, now I will create uh, uh, four patterns of this uh, rib command, uh, basically three more ribs. So I'll go to here pattern and uh, uh, for the feature, I'll select this feature that I have just created 
check this box and coincident plane is this one and now I will create a circle here up to maybe here and for the direction is let's say this one and you can see that count is 4 360 degree and equal spacing because 360 divided by 4 is 90 when I click this option return so these four patterns are generated so let's click this one and now you can see that a rib command is generated okay four ribs are generated click here finish and uh, okay uh, next is uh, we will create uh, four holes here so first I will make uh, a sketch so let's go to a sketch and I'll select this plane this face and uh, I will create uh, let's say one circle and uh, this circle diameter would be let's say 60 and this circle would be of construction basically this sketch is uh, for reference and uh, now I will create one line and the angle would be let's say 45 between this one and this one sorry I'll go to here uh, angle between I select this plane and this one and change this angle to 45 now I will create a circle here so let's go to a circle and I will make one circle here now you can see that this circle is not coincident with this uh, this circle uh, so I'll go to here connect and I will select this point and this one now you can see that it is perfectly aligned uh, so let's return and finish and cancel now I go to here whole command and uh, I will select this option coincident plane this one and uh, I'll go to here and I'll change its diameter to let's say 10 mm and uh, let's select this one and return uh, for the direction it would be definitely downward because there is no uh, material on the uh, top side so I'll select this one and click finish and cancel so now you can see that a hole is created and we need four number of holes uh, as we did for rib so let's go to your pattern command and uh, let's select this feature and select ok let's go to your uh, uh, coincident plane this one this uh, this face and uh, I will make one circle and okay now the direction of the pattern it would be same let's say I will check this direction and we need four number of patterns you can see that one pattern here one pattern here and one pattern here and these uh, all patterns would be 90 degree apart and I'll click return and now you can see that four holes are created click here finish and uh, now I will hide these sketches right click hide and uh, similarly this is sketch right click and hide uh, we can also hide these planes and uh, I will select this option hide uh, now I will create uh, some chamfer and uh, some fillets so let's go to here let's say chamfer command and uh, let's go to this drop down select chamfer and set back is 1 mm and I'll select this one this one this one this one and this one and select ok now you can see that chamfers are created uh, similarly I will apply fillet which is called round in solid edge and I will select this edge and this edge and I will change the radius to 1 mm only select preview finish and cancel and now you can see that this part is almost uh, done and uh, lastly I will apply some uh, appearance or color to this block so let's go to your format and here you can see this option view and in view we can change uh, lights background and uh, render settings etc but uh, this tutorial is not for rendering and here we just apply uh, material or color to this uh, block so let's go to your format again and this time I'll choose this option part painter and uh, you can apply 
color to any face feature body or completely uh, let's say this model so let's say i will select this option feature and uh, let's say i will choose uh, uh, this option green and i'll apply green appearance to this fillet now uh, let's select uh, uh, this feature let's say rip and uh, i will change this to red and uh, i will choose this option pattern and now you can see that these uh, rips are uh, colored with red uh, next is let's say i will choose this uh, protrusion and i'll go to here uh, let's say steel and now you can see that its appearance is changed similarly I can change the appearance of uh, this chamfer. I'll change this to maybe this color. Uh, lastly, I will let's say change the appearance of pole. So let's choose let's say this option copper, and I will select this one. And now you can see that these appearances are applied on this uh, block, and uh, that concludes this. Uh, uh, tutorial of uh, a practice exercise 3 in solid edge uh, if you have any question any queries related to this tutorial or any other tutorial in my list uh, you can ask in comment section thanks for watching and please subscribe to our channel for more informative and interesting videos thank you